great day, St. Louis, my friends. We have made it. We've made it to fall. But here's the question. When was the last time you used your fireplace? If you're like most humans, it was last winter, right? Which means you don't know what's been going on in that chimney since then. It's time to make sure it's working and in good working order before really cooler months arrive. Here to tell us more about the process is James Anderson of Approved Home Improvements. James, always good to see you, Thanks sir. Thanks for having me. He was telling me just before we went on, man, when you hit mid-September, suddenly people start thinking about that. They feel that first cool breeze of the, of the fall and they think, oh, I should probably have this looked at. But let's take a step back. Let's, let's talk to people maybe who haven't really thought this through or maybe just haven't stayed on top of it as much as they should. If you've got a fire place you don't know much about it how often do you need to have it checked what does it take to keep it maintained so the normal term people use is how often should you have it cleaned and inspected mm -hmm. the reason that term's used because there's two parts to it one part is cleaning the other part's inspection some people think just because they never use it that they shouldn't have to do anything to it that's the furthest from the truth what we're going is to look for a lot of different things and the outside of the chimney gets inspected as well as the inside and we gotcha. find things when they're small before they get big so somebody that tends not to use their fireplace when the home gets sold or they have to do something we find to have a lot bigger repair bill when they get ready to transfer to sell the home so better to do a little maintenance, what, every year? Is this something we, we try to do every 12 so months? So you want to clean it every year and okay. inspect it. So a tree limb, I've been on them in the last week where tree limbs, they didn't know it fell on, smashed the covers down, wow. had the ice damage, had broken the liners and was plugging the flue up. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of things besides just you using it that can affect your chimney. But you do want to keep it, have it cleaned in annually so that uh, you don't get any surprises. It could be an animal just made a nest sure. over the winter. Yep, and heaven forbid you light the first <laughs> fire without knowing that they're up there. On that note, let's say that somebody maybe hasn't had it checked out and they try to light their first fire of the season and it just it seems like something's off. It doesn't seem like it's working properly or maybe they were told that it's not working properly. What should they do? So they're looking at the pictures they're looking at on the screen. They can see all the holes in that flue. So your fireplace is an air pump, the simplest way I can put it. If there's any holes anywhere, the pump, air don't get pumped out the top. It gets pumped inside the fireplace. So anywhere it can get unmetered air from, it's going to leave the smoke where it's at. So if you have any voids in your fireplace, it's going to put a high carbon dioxide level into the house and it comes along with the smoke. And the kind of uh, repair work that, you, that we're showing people at home right now, I only know this because I was there when you were doing it and you were explaining this to me. It actually makes it, you know, it's, it's not even making it as good as new. It's making it better than new. It's, make, it's giving it a higher temperature tolerance than when it was first built, right? Right. So when they build your fireplace new, they stack a liner with a joint just like you see your bricks. Brick, joint, brick. And when that happens over time, that mortar joint tends to erode or burn out sure. from heat. Yeah. So the product we use actually coats it from bottom to top. So it's like a straw. So you don't have those individual components. Plus, if we just fill the holes, they actually, like you said, are non-water soluble. So they will not freeze out and they take double the heat of mortar. So pretty much they're not going to fail. They're going to be last component yeah. to fail on your home. Huge advancement. All right, why should somebody watching right now who's thinking about a cleaning or and an inspection or maybe a bigger repair job, why should they choose approved home improvements over other repair companies in the area? Well, the method they're looking at right there to do the repairs are pretty unique. As you notice, we haven't tore anything existing in that home out. We come in with the no demo, no mess process, usually one day, and we restore the fireplace to, like you said, better than new condition. Even if you have a brand new home, people have us come in and put this in, because like you said, the safety factor is doubled when this process is used. So that those are unique from uh, some of the other processes out there. Now's the time to pick up the phone and make that call because he's only going to get busier as the weather gets colder. James, thanks for stopping thanks by. We appreciate it. Enjoy your fireplace today with approved home improvements. It's as simple as this. They are offering 25% off internal chimney repairs completed by September 30th. Call now and you get a chance to double your discount. The number's right there, 314-780-6080. And if I could say it real quick, mm -hmm. it's not a misprint, and we will have it done by the end of the month. Wow. wow. Wait, the end of the month? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, it's the 25th. Yeah. Better wow. get on, better okay. get on your horse, pal. Yep.